Right, so on our stealth camp, we've decided to go to Bamber. I've never been there. It, it, is, um, it looks quite good on the maps, so we're going to go check out Bamber after we find somewhere to park for the night. So, um, this is us coming. Alex and Cody. We've got our TV, pillars and toilet. Uh, in there is our big power station, blankets. We've got some drinks and snacks for tonight. So I'll catch you when I found a, a spot. So we went to Widrington on the way to Bamber to get some stuff from the co-op there. It's a little tiny town. So we've got some dinner and some snacks and drinks and all the all the good stuff which is super bad for you <laughs> i'll check so we're in our park up at bambra um we're not in a it's a bit full this car park at the minute so later on it should start um it should start quieting down and uh and that's when that's when we'll move because we can't, i'll show you where we're on a bit of a slow so Anyways, the car's locked, so we're gonna have a we're gonna have a walk into town, check out that castle, see what the Bamber town has to offer. So that's where we're going now. Have we got the dinner? Yep. Lock the door. We'll have a walk in. Uh, I can't see no signs, any restrictions. There's no signage anywhere. They have got a height barrier coming in. We've got a height. But there's no gates on the height barrier, and there's no signage anywhere to say that to say that uh, you can't stop overnight. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully, we won't get moved on. <laughs> so this is our first stealth camp. In it, Cody? Eh? Are you looking forward to your first stealth camp? Eh? Yeah. Look at the camera then. See. Thumbs up. We're going into town, aren't we? To see if we can buy you some. You looking forward to your first self camp, Alex? We all are. It's a looks real nice, like, doesn't it? Our green bag to see what nice food we have. We're all hungry, aren't we? Okay, and I'll check you out soon. Went in and saw a little ice cream place, like a little cafe. So we got them to a little single ice cream thing. Stood is it? Let's have a look at this. He's eating it already. And that was blue raspberry and then mine is coffee <laughs> actually it's cappuccino and have you seen the size of this field if you've got like lots of kids with you coming to this place on the way to the massive castle so we're gonna be good that castle hopefully we're gonna have a look we'll walk all the way up there there's a great big massive field there people playing football on it picnics on it doing all sorts on it, it's quite cool actually. I can't get over the size of that. I know there was a way up it from back there, coming along the coast there. Well, I can see people walking up there, so I'm guessing that's the way. So in there, and then up there. <laughs> According to Alex, this is Harry Potter. I don't know. It's a bit of a rocky road, a rocky path climbing this side here. I'm waiting for Cody to start one, he's in my legs are aching. Not yet though. He's enjoying his ice cream at the minute, so. Here's a nice little spot. <laughs> Not sure, but this is a perfect spot if I had a drone. Look at that. Your man wants to move it to a four bedroom house. That might be a bit more than a four bedroom, but you know. I'm not looking after the garden though. I can't be asked with that. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. Are well, you going to get the ladders out? Yeah. Yeah? 
Right, that's his Armstrong family caring for the past. <coughs> Bamber Castle f fired the imagination of inventor William George Armstrong, who bought the castle in 1894. It must have been very rich. It remains the Armstrong family's home to this day. Wow, okay. Wow, so this is the Armstrong family's home still. That's crazy. Even though they're dead. Francis, well, the original owner would have been dead, but not the family carries on, doesn't it? Francis Watson Armstrong is the castle's current keeper, pre present, preserving it for today's visitors and future generations. The bronze sculpture shown from... So they're rich. So this, yeah, I mean, this this was bought in 1894 by the Armstrong family, right? And to this day, it remains the home of the Armstrong family. That's over 130 years ago. The family history like that. That's actually quite interesting. Imagine that bit in your garden, including the beach. That was the place. Well, we won't need a buffer, but, uh, Opening times 10am until 5pm. Last admission 4pm. 14 state rooms, Armstrong and Museum Cafe gift Dad. shop. Yeah? That's right in English. It is, aye. Let's have a read of this. Oh, that's the the person who bought it, Lord Armstrong, 1810. So he bought it like 10 years before he died. 10 years before yeah. he died. And he was an inventor, in just a benefactor whose genius brought much employment to the northeast. Enjoyment to the subsequent generations through his restoration of Bamber Castle and his creation of the Craigside Estate, whose house first to be lit by electricity in the world, well, pioneered the technology that. Um, so he, uh, he was the first. He was uh, the first um, property to have electricity, like light in the house. The teen pound and children are eight pound fifty each. Or a family of two adults and two children is forty nine. Forty seven ninety five. So it costs us thirty four quid to get in. Let's see what it. Let's try and get our money's worth. Oh man, have you seen that? Whoa. Wait, where? Yeah, get in there and I'll fire it. <laughs> get in there, friend. <laughs> oh, what man, that beach for? I can tell you. Yeah. Beach. Oh, beach. Looks like yeah. a real nice beach, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Swell than that, yeah? Okay. After this, we can go down to the beach if you want. Yeah. Go down to the beach. Yeah. After this. Too. After this, obviously. After this. Stand near the wall then on the other side of the camera. I'll take a picture. There you go. <coughs> right, let's go. Old games that they used to play back then. Old, uh, Old games. Yeah, they have Oh, his gravestone. It's a good spot. That's a gravestone. The chapel of St. Peter stood here in the 1600s to 1100s. It's part of the king's, <coughs> the king of Northumberland's <coughs> royal palace. Look, 
King Oswald brought this brother King Oswald army back to the chapel after he was killed in 1642. Dad. They were placed in a silver shireen. The ruins you see today are of much later buildings. This was created in the 1800s on the site of the original chapel. Look, it's a green stone. It says, he's under that. <laughs> Yeah. Look, the the first Lord Armstrong, 1810 to 1900. Genius in his time. Let's go in. This domestic pot, just like the cooking we're using in our bedroom today. It's amazing that the domestic cooking is like a feast tube mm. or a delicious soup in the pot. It's from a prehistoric roundhouse discovered in the West Wall. Lord, we'll leave it on now. <laughs> what life was like here at Clamber 3,000 years ago. So let's move on now, about 1,000 years to the next piece of this fortress's history. So, this is the history of the This stone fragment is part of an intricately carved left arm of the throne, also known as a gift stall in Anglo Saxon poetry. This type of stall of the throne is thought to have been used by the warrior kings of the throne, presenting arms and treasures of the chosen warriors, thus creating allegiances until death. It was common for the great lord to have a seat for a ritual gift given. Eyes are even more special as it's carved in stone, made for a king. The exact location of this discovery is unknown. A 19th century story tells us that it was found within the castle with two modern scars on the face. Both the sides of the world are stable. This is an important clue that tells us more about the story of this discovery. Let's move on now to more recent times than knights occupied the castle. 1894. And this brings me on to the final object I'd like to show you. This majestic model of the castle, commissioned by Armstrong and made by the Carlisle joiner Andrew Smith, 
Mm. Well, those now, when I got really tall, it, it literally shows Lord Armstrong's grand restoration to the castle, most of which can be seen today. Mm. Unfortunately, the first Lord Armstrong died before the completion of the works, but the castle remains in the hands of the Armstrong family to this day. And there you have it. The case of natural the history of the the castle. There's more to come. As you can imagine, three thousand. <laughs> Without thinking that I left to find my uncle in Edinburgh, but I didn't really know how to get there and have no money. Close to my room. What's in, in store? This room used to be two storerooms close to the great kitchen and held the raw ingredients ready for cooking. The larder was for storing salted or freshly butchered meat. The general store held dried goods like flour. So let's wait for Electric collections. The Armstrong families were avid collectors of unusual rare artifacts for use and display. This tortoise, tortoise, and lustre. in every room. Yeah, probably need one in the Exercise books belonging to Thomas Youngwood. His lessons included mathematics and land surveying. Other subjects included Latin, Greek, and religion studies. Yeah, I don't understand a thing. Everybody will like. Yeah, but how can you how can you read that sort of writing? You must have been a genius. Then. By seventeen sixty, the Bamber Castles school had been opened by Dr. John Sharp and the Lord Crew <coughs> trustees and it continued for 130 years. Many students came from local families with 190 attending in 1834, including up to 40 boarders. So it was at the school as well for 130 years at the school. So you might be right. Harry Potter. Yeah. Dad, I'm always right, you know, I'm spending. Just so you know, I'm already lost. Um. Oh. <laughs> um, cocktail hour. Sailors first brought punch from India in the 1600s. And cocktail makers or something, isn't it? <coughs> um, they're like little models, aren't they, of the castle? In doubt. Oh, I can read it in doubt. That's it. In doubt, summit, 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 summit. What well, people are doing with those shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I don't mind reading that book. <coughs> Help here. I'm guessing, look at it. How does it be?
Oh. Would you wear that armor? You'd fall down. <laughs> Be heavy, won't it? Do you want me to read this to you, sir? Yeah. The Cross Hall, a lavish restoration. So it says, look out for the ships carved above the fireplace. Lord Armstrong was one of the richest people in Europe and a visionary inventor who was knighted for his engineering involved invitations his wealth came from cranes ships buildings and amendments Sorry. manufacturing that's what paid for the restoration of the castle in 1894 have you spotted the cannons carved over the doors Symbolises another of the Lord Armstrong's inventors. Why do you not watch them? Paintings must the cost. What's that? I don't think people Well, it used to be a school for years, like I said. <laughs> this is bad, I spent all my time here. <laughs> It'd be fun, wouldn't it? He found me home. The current keeper of the castle, Francis Watson Armstrong, and his sister Isabella grew up here. It was perfectly normal. Have a whole castle as their playground. Their private living quarters were at the top of the castle keep. They had their parents, the fourth Lord Armstrong. So yeah, they did live here. Um, but the edit as a school there lived at the quarters at the top or so. They had the full castle to run around in. Isn't it? Yeah. I'd say, yeah, I wonder if these pots wouldn't have lasted in our house, I tell you. <laughs> They'd have been the best guy. <laughs> okay, I know I'm a chair, but please don't sit on me. <laughs> please use the window seats of the gold framed chairs instead. Okay. No. Huh. Meant. We're gonna have to get something from the uh, from the Boston. Oh, oh. Cody, what's up, there? Come here. Okay. There, I took one of yours. You do put the top on and the helmet, and then that goes underneath the armor, I guess. But that'd have been heavy, though. I'd rather wear none. I should have seen them guns, man. They were tripping on the real Obviously, a bit. I wouldn't have worn any of that so much. You wouldn't be able to move in it, would you? Limited, but you No, I won't wear it. <laughs> You'd stand more of a chance without it on, wouldn't you? One more bad fire. Oh, I've seen the design on that gun. 
Nu er det du skal sige omkring den. Kan du spille den? Ja, jeg kan I see it. Right, man, I see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes, well, from all the way back there. That's crazy, I have a five. Okay, coming through. Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you're doing? Sorry, it's okay. Yeah. Just found the pictures in there. Hmm. There goes. Um. On permanent lawn from Rolls Royce. Northeast train. So that's that hanker. Chain. That's the chain that the hanker's held on. Oh, let's have a. Seen this, mate? Don't know what this is. What we're we looking at here then? On the menu, the high, the high status residents of Bamburgh Castle commonly ate meat and fish on Fridays, bread and beer were daily staples for everyone. Cody? How? Smile? Cody, Alex, how are you? There you go. Take one of me. What's wrong? Look at this. It took someone to paint that. I'm gonna do it right when I'll get some. See, I'll find someone to do some paint. I can have Joe a picture of that. I love it, it's like I say. <laughs> 280 quid. I wouldn't mind one of them. See, I wouldn't mind buying one of these paintings, you know. But they're expensive. 84 quid. 34 quid, 3,400. Get a print. <laughs> a copy of a lot of the pictures in here from an artist's point of view. And this is like, it's quite a nice thing, isn't it? It's like, that's 125 quid. <laughs> I couldn't buy a print, I couldn't spend that much money, I couldn't, I just couldn't. But these are only like, I'm interested in this, this is only 20. And you get lots of different paintings in this. Fridge right <laughs> <laughs> so have a look at these in, son. But they're not. They're only six then. 75 quid. Empty quid. They're still a lot of money, aren't they? Nice, but I don't think it's Unbelievable, nice. really. Sounds like yours. Penguins. What's that got to do with bamboo? Oh, these are a bit more cheaper. Like little copies of them. Cheapest one, ten quid. No, so these are card packs, cards, small prints, which are these ones.
Not mind some of these, but the, oh, these are, these are actually a bit cheaper. You know what I mean? Someone like this look, Alex. On our, on our wall. It'd be a nice reminder, wouldn't it? Don't you think? Yeah. There's no one to pay. <coughs> eh? There's no one to pay. You'll probably pay on the way out, but there's, it literally says money on it. Look. So obviously there's a place to buy it from, but... Let's have a look. Oh, food! That's going to be a massive, multi, multi, uh, multi room kitchen. You know what I mean? Look at the cooking. Ah, so you just get me to bring through. You know what I mean? Oh, excuse me. Hello. Um, do you know the prints down there? Do you just bring them and then bring yes, them over for here? Yeah. Right, okay, thank you. You're yeah, looking for some. Oh, look at this. Black cherry preserve. Be like nice jam in it. What do you want? Yeah, have a look then. You pick some out. Oh, yeah, fish and chips. Yeah, guys. Yeah, 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 it's like these like well. These are. What's that? Stick on your face. Get this one. Oh, well, there. This is a better one, isn't it? Eh? What is it? Coin. We've got a magnet for the fridge anyway. But... Cody? Mackenzie, sorry? They're yeah, bookmarks. What's that? You read, don't you? What's this? Um, they're bookmarks. Bookmarks? Yeah. What? <laughs> this? What's know. this? I have no idea. Whoa, let's have a bit of room. Uh huh, really good. Dad, I have no idea what those, oh, it's just like a, a tea towel in it. Chutney. I oh, really want some deal. What's that? Dad, I have no idea. Mustard. What's this? Honey. Honey. Aha, I've got an idea. Honey. Honey. Yeah. yeah, we will get some. There's some different ones out there. Yeah, we're going to get some sweets to share though. Okay. There's these ones here. Or okay. oh, there's some chocolates. Some chocolate. Belgium chocolate covered honeycomb chunks. What's that? Oh, no, we'll not get that. Yeah. Shall we get them? Yeah. Yeah? How? Yeah. Oh, do you want the orange, orange fudge ones? I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Grab that then. Okay. Well, it's a ship, isn't it? This is the dungeons. Imagine being, can imagine being locked up down here. Wait, Dad. Yeah, I have my head on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah? I know, yeah, look. You can see it better on my phone. <laughs> cool dungeons. Let's have a look at the view, Cody. Let's have a look at the view, mate. What it's about, isn't it? Can't see the real. Oh, get here, get on my back. That's the fit. 
This is what I came here for. This is what the camping life's all about. It's just getting places like this and seeing the views. Very careful. It's nice, isn't it? Hey, jump down then, son. Yeah. Yes. What's that? Why is that open? I don't know. We're, we're going to have a look, aren't we? Let's go down and have a look. I think, if I think there's some toilets down here, so we'll have a good. Eh? I think if you own a space, you're higher. I'll see you after the loop. Thanks. Right, wait. So, What's that? to be fair, it was good. I enjoyed it. The dungeon was, was good. Um, the views were brilliant. You know, you got to see all the artifacts and uh, the way people used to live in the, the rooms that they lived in and things. One minute, son. Um, and it was all good. But, 34 quid good for me and my two sons. I'm not sure. But we had fun. Well, and that's yeah. that. And so, not done yet, so we're going to the beach. Yeah? Um, do you know there's a thing going up there? Yes. Do you want to go up it there? Yes. I don't, I don't know if you can, but look. Uh, no, it doesn't say you can't, so... If, some, if they didn't let you somewhere, then they'd say... <coughs> let me out! I'm trapped! <laughs> oh, there's me waking up in the morning! <laughs> okay, so. Right, we're heading out of this uh, castle maze. So we're heading out of here now, and uh, I'll see you at the beach. Yeah, we're at Bamber Beach now. He's taking the shoes off. Let's see what the beach is like. Are you ready? Hi. Can you record for a bit? Just while I get my shoes off, because I'm going to be going. Yeah. Yeah. Where are the feet? Because you're going to get sand on <laughs> It's quite a nice beach, you can walk quite far out because it's only shallow really and uh, yeah, wait a minute, the beach is nice and sandy, it's not real rocky like some, it's quite nice actually, long beach. We're going to get to the car and I'll quickly say hello when I'm back at the car. Uh, we're not, we're going to have a bit of fun on the beach first and then we're going to get to the car. Right, so we got back to the car after the beach <laughs> and there was no Wi-Fi signal so we thought now we're going to, we wanted to watch some movies is what we was looking forward to on it, won't we mate? So in the end we had to move and we went, um, we came to another little town and um, and we're inside of uh, Aldi's car park. There's no signage or anything saying I can't be here, so I think we'll just stop here the night and see what happens. This is what we're doing at the minute. 
watching Horrid Henry. Oh, he's having a drink. This is where we're sleeping. Got the windows open for now. There he is. And uh, hoping that we don't get moved away from the car park. We'll get out the car so we can have a walk around. Come here. Peekaboo! <laughs> I don't see a bit. Is yeah. I'm um, lunch, mum. Mummy's at Dodo's. Wesley. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Hello oh. to my grass. <laughs> Grass. <laughs> yeah. Hold, 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 it <laughs> hold it normal. Hold it with your hands like this. Top, top, hand. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna come in this. You alright, Amy? Look at love of your phone. I'm gonna cut the road. You can cover the road wherever you want. Oh, look at that car! He's holding it. He's alright, then. Right, let's get in the car. Okay, one car!